guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. On today's video, I thought I'd share three books that I got recently from Etsy. And um, it's the first time I've actually bought something from Etsy other than Clara Markova's books. Um, yeah, I've never really bought any books or PDFs or anything like that other than Clara Markova's. Um, but I have had my eye on this book, Lady Spring, for absolutely ages since it came out. I know so many of you out there probably already have it. Um, but yeah, I was just delaying the process of buying it. And um, yeah, I finally decided to just take the plunge and get this book. And as I was looking for this book, I then decided to also buy these two books. I know. Um, I was a little bit naughty um, <laughs> and the reason I got these books, first of all, I got the books from Decomade on Etsy and um, the, the shipping was basically, as you guys know, shipping is expensive from Etsy. However, I was looking at this book, Lady Spring, and then I decided, let me just add a couple of books because I knew this book has just come out recently. And so I was, I've, and I don't have any work of, well, any of these artists actually, but I don't have any work from Karolina Kubikowska's and I knew this book had just been released and I saw it on Decomade's shop in Etsy. And so I decided, let me just add it to my cart and see what happens with regards to the shipping and the shipping stay the same so I said okay let me add another book and see how it goes so basically I just bought these three books because it made sense with regards to the shipping because the shipping stayed the same and so even though they're a little bit pricey I think they're worth it because basically each book including the shipping came to approximately 20 pounds each um, which if you look on Amazon, there are certain books for £15. So once I add all the shipping and I just average it out throughout through the three books, it was £20 per books for such good quality books. So I was like, for £5 more a book, I'm going to get it. And so I was naughty and I got it, but I'm glad I did. Um, I may not shop from Etsy that often, but I'm glad I finally got some work off Karolina Kubikowska's because I've had my eye on her books and I never saw them in stock actually. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my videos recently, well, recently meaning maybe a few months ago that I, you know, I tried searching for her books and I can't see them on, on her website or anywhere. And I think you guys did mention that once they sell out, they sell out. So when I saw that this book, this is an older, one of her older books, um, was there in stock, I decided, okay, I'll go for it. And, um, obviously this was the new one. So I decided to go for it. So what I'll do is, um, first of all, like I said, I bought this from the shop Decomade. Brilliant service, um, very quick. Literally, I bought it, I think I placed the order on a Friday. So obviously because of the weekend, it got processed on Monday and shipped out. And I got it, it was supposed to come next week, but I got it, um, basically I got it sooner than I was supposed to have got it. Um, so really good shipping, really good packaging. It was very well wrapped in bubble wrap all three of the books then there was a box then there was packaging to make sure it like you know if there was rain or anything it doesn't get wet um so i was so happy with that and um ania who is i think who does the books from decomade she had contacted me and i'd asked her about when they would be shipped and everything and she was um so responsive so i was so happy with the service and the books came in pristine condition so i'm i'm really pleased um, so yeah, so the books are from Decomade, but through Etsy, but I think Decomade also has a website as well, so you could always check it out, or of course you can get it from, um, so Carolina Kubikowska's own website or Etsy, um, these two books, oh actually I don't think this book, I didn't see it on hers, which is why I picked it up as soon as I saw it, it was in stock on Decomade, and, but definitely the new book is there on her website, her Etsy, and then this book as well is there, obviously, from any of these artists, you can probably search it on Etsy and get it. So the main reason I shopped was for this book. But I think you guys must have seen flip throughs of this one because it's quite old now. And this one, I thought I'd, I'll do a quick flip through of these at the end just to music, just so you guys see it in case you haven't. But I thought I'd show you the new book because I think there are a few flip throughs there. But I'll just talk you through the flip through with me. Um, so yeah, so the book is called Rising. 
it's there in gold plating. Can you see that? Or foiling. Um, and it's so it's called Rising and it's by Carolina Kubikowska. And the size is a bit bigger, I would say, long, taller. And uh, width, maybe the width is about the same as an A4, but the length, I would say, is a little bit taller than an A4. And it's a beautiful book. I, well, I was going to say I don't know why I've never bought any of her books, but it is because of, um, obviously, it's not exactly the cheapest or the easiest to get because it's not just available on Amazon. Um, so that's the, the front cover. This comes from Decomade. I'll use it as a bookmark, but you can colour the other side if you wanted. Very pretty. Keep that to the side. We've got a little description of the book here by Carolina. Now, I think if you ordered the books from her, directly from her stores, you'd get it signed. So just so you know. But other than that, I think the books would be the same. Beautiful paper. And so this is the first time I'll ever, you know, color her art style. And I actually really like it. Whenever I've looked at flip throughs, I was like, will I really enjoy coloring her work? You know, it's some, some pages are quite dark. Some illustrations are a little bit out there. So I wasn't so sure, but I absolutely love her work. So like pages like this, they're quite dark. But I think, I think once I put because I like colouring bright, I think my bold, bright colours will look really nice against that those dark, uh, the dark backgrounds. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what my colouring style looks like in her work. Um, but the paper is good, so the, my watercolour pencils, Albrecht Dures, will work beautifully. And if I start learning how to use watercolour paints, I think that will look that will work really nice in her art style as well. So she does have little bits in the book I've only looked through it once really quickly just checking that the book was okay more than anything um, but there are little sec uh, random pages where there's a little bit of reading that you can do so some of them are a little bit creepy but I think I would still color them I think the artwork is beautiful but yeah like I said the only reason I have delayed getting any of her books was obviously buying it from Etsy and the shipping costs and things like that but um yeah I was pretty surprised when I saw how much it was coming to I was actually tempted to buy her postcard sets as well and then I said okay I shouldn't just I shouldn't be too crazy with my buying um because I think the price of the shipping was still the same but like you guys know I don't like to buy too much at one go I don't like snakes in real life but I Whenever I look at pages of them in, in um, colouring books, I do get tempted to colour them. I don't know why I haven't yet, but I don't mind the idea of colouring them. I wouldn't like it in real life. Definitely not. But I think this will be beautiful coloured, this page. Sorry if you guys are not keen on the snake. I stopped in there for a bit long. Um, yeah, so it'll be really interesting trying to see how I colour in her work. But yeah, so like I was saying, um, I think, I know everyone says it's pricey, but I think for £5 more a book of this quality, sorry, I keep stopping on the wrong pages for uh, too long. Um, but yeah, for a qu for quality of this standard, hardback, beautifully um, put together, so it's stitch bound, um, beautiful paper so many pages to color one-sided i don't think i would like to use something that would go through to the other side i don't like seeing it on the other side but for those of you who do enjoy using um alcohol markers and don't mind that it's brilliant it's one-sided you can use whatever you want this is beautiful so yeah for five pound extra a book of this standard of this artwork of this quality um, I think it was worth it. But I was surprised. I thought it would be a lot more expensive, to be honest. And maybe usually it is. But then obviously this is shipping from Poland to the UK. So I'm not sure what the shipping costs are, you know, from Europe to like America or Australia or anything like that, unfortunately. I wouldn't know what the costs are. Um, so you'd have to check. Lovely. 
something to read here again and I do want to read all this it just says here take a breath you are in control you can do anything everything is in your power that is beautiful lovely so it's a bit different again I keep seeming to go for books at the moment that are a little bit different something I don't have in my collection so it's just giving me a little bit of a wider spectrum of art styles to have in my collection these are stunning pages so elegant oh there's a fox here I'm sure a lot of people would probably color uh, do watercolor painting on on her art style but because I don't know how to and I don't want to keep it off and say oh the day I you know learn how to do watercolor painting I'll I'll tap into these books I'll probably just go in with my pencils although of course my pencils are Albert Dura so that helps um, using watercolor pencils so it'll still work but um, yeah I won't wait till I know how to use watercolor paints that's cute lovely and the thing I like is like I say I don't gravitate towards portraits that much but a lot of her pages portraits have got other elements to color which for me makes it a bit more interesting because if I only had a portrait and hair to color no matter how beautiful it is I wouldn't be able to uh, I, I wouldn't be inclined to pull that particular illustration out but because there's certain other elements to make it a bit interesting for me I, I would like I, I like it so like here we have the portrait but we have tons of leaves we have some flowers we have the flower here so there is other elements to color which I like that's pretty these backgrounds for you, those of you who like backgrounds I'm not a huge fan of backgrounds but in this book I will figure it out <laughs> and these pages so there was one earlier on where there were two faces and now this three face I, I don't know how to tackle that or maybe you just have to color it just like as if it was one face I don't know it's nice again a little bit of writing and it seems like quite positive writing you have that power it says yeah I haven't read the rest of it but see so we do have a portrait but we have tons of other stuff to color around mainly leaves but um i like coloring leaves so for me that would be quite relaxing beautiful book i love this page I won't stop in this one too long, sorry. <laughs> See, something like that is a bit creepy, but I think everything around it is beautiful. So I would just colour it and not think too much into it and not think about it. Um, yeah. And that's the end. I think that's the copyright information. And that's Carolina's Facebook group, maybe Instagram, YouTube. She has a YouTube, her Etsy shop, Patreon, and other contact details. And her deco made. Yeah, and that is it. That's the back cover. So it's an absolutely beautiful book. Like I said, Good quality paper, stitch band, one-sided, hardback, almost an A4 uh, size, a bit taller, um, and lots of colouring time. So many pages, it's not just a thin book. And that's why, in my opinion, adding on the shipping and everything, totaling to £20 is not bad. Because, yeah, you get certain books with a lot fewer pages um, on uh, Amazon that are almost £15. So... Yeah, beautiful book and I'm glad to have that in my collection. I think it's something so different for me and I've always wanted to try her work 
but always shied away from it. Um, and so now that this book came out, I decided it was there and I decided, let me just go for it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys think about the book. Have you guys got any Karolina Kubikowska books? Do you like her art style? I know it's a bit different. It's a bit out there on certain pages, but I think generally there are some beautiful illustrations. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I got that. And I'm so glad that it came so well packaged and in one piece no damage done um through uh sent by decamade so thank you decamade if you do watch this uh but yeah beautiful um so what i'll do now i'll leave you guys to it to some music and i'll just quickly flip through the other two books if you're interested because i think a lot of you would have already seen it so i don't think there's a point but some of you if you haven't um I'll just quickly flip through it and also I haven't really flipped through it either so at the same time I'll get a chance to flip through it myself and look through the books um but I think um yeah I think most of you will have seen them okay so I'll go through first Carolina's uh book um Magic Hour and then um so that that's her book and then she's also in Lady Spring with the other artists. Um, I won't be able to pronounce all their names. Sorry, I think I just shook the camera. Um, Karolina Kubikowska, Isabella, I won't be able to pronounce that. Anna Mazurchinska, Mizur again, I shouldn't even try, but do we have them in a bit more? Okay, they've all got sort of cursive writing, but uh, Christina Nowak, Grazia Salvo, and Barbara. Sabchinska, maybe um but those are the artists in this particular book all right so i'll leave you guys to some music hope you enjoy the flip throughs i hope i enjoy the flip throughs because like i said i haven't really looked through these ones yet and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video um so until then take care thank you for watching as always and for all the support um you guys mean so much to me so thank you and i'll see you next time bye bye